Hello there, TJ again. Thanks for stopping back. Um, I had another couple questions asked to me, and I thought I'd touch on those too. Um, the the one is it's it's partially about accounting and partially about price structure. Um, so let's let's go one at a time. First of all, the accounting. I use an online accounting system. It's QuickBooks. Actually, it's called QuickBooks Online. Google it. It is the best small business accounting system I have ever seen. I went to college for accounting. I work closely with my accountant. Um, I've never actually been an accountant, so I'm not mis- I don't want to misrepresent that, but QuickBooks Online is an online service. So you don't have to download it to your computer. It's it's like going to Hotmail or going to a website. It's basically what it is. It's an interactive website. Um, it does everything from keeping track of your bank statements. You can do billing through QuickBooks. You can collect payments online through QuickBooks. Um, you can run reports. The um, accountant, when it comes from tax time, can simply import the information from QuickBooks. They'll still have a few questions for you. But it is the best accounting system for small business I have ever seen. It is so incredibly simple to use. Now, I'm sure at the beginning there's some learning curve. Um, I've used it for so long that to me it's uh, it's unbelievable. It even even houses a database for all of your clients. It's amazing. But you don't have to worry about cash basis, accrual basis, or any of the other stuff like that. Um, All you need to worry about is Entering your information from estimate time, which also it does estimates, from estimate time through billing, through collections, through paying your vendors. It's an amazing system. Uh, You can run most of your business right off your phone because there's also an app for it. So if you're asking about accounting systems, QuickBooks Online, it's my only answer. I wish they would pay me to sell for them because I'd make more money. Um... Aside from that, one of the other questions that, um, that that was brought up had to do with tax planning and price. Tax planning is it's important if you're a sole proprietor or partnership because you're not getting your taxes taken out each paycheck. You're just taking money out of the business and then you got to pay your taxes, whether it be quarterly estimates or end of the year filing. Um, it's part of the reason why I personally. Uh, went the route of subchapter S. I wanted to be an employee. I wanted to receive a paycheck so that I didn't have to worry about paying estimates and paying self-employment tax and um, keeping every receipt under the sun and think, well, maybe I can use this as a deduction and then have to worry about getting audited and somebody saying, well, that wasn't really a good deduction. You should not have taken that deduction. I don't like to play those games. I don't play tax games. One of the first things we tell every new client is everything we do is above board. We will bill you. You will pay us. We're not going to ask for cash. We're not going to play any games. We are a completely legitimate professional company that is doing everything above board. That does two things. One, it makes the client feel much better about dealing with us because they know that they're not going to be asked to do something that they shouldn't. And they know now that they're dealing with a professional company which allows number two, which is you, to charge what you're worth. The question about what to charge is such a big question that it really can't be answered specifically in a video by me who has never sat down and talked to you about your business. Here's the thing. Your time is worth more than you think it is. As I said in one of my very first videos, if you went and did a job for somebody... Let's say it was rake somebody's yard, and you did the job top-notch, A-plus, best lawn raking ever. That client's probably going to pay you more than what you would have charged them on your, on your own because in the first couple of years, you're so worried about getting some negative feedback from that client that you don't really charge what you're worth. Now, let's say you're a professional company, a contractor. If you are a top-notch contractor... You present well when you come into the client's home. You're able to speak to them one-on-one. You shower every day. If you come across as the guy or the lady that that person wants in their home to take care of their contracting needs, they're going to pay you more. 
So you should charge more. I don't mean you should charge above market. If you are the best of the best and you know you're the best of the best, charge above market. You set the market price. But if you're a good contractor, A, A plus, and you are confident in your skill set, you have references, you come in as a professional, charge the market rate. Because, and don't do, don't do the, well, I was making $20 an hour before. So as long as I charge $20 an hour, I'll be at, at the same place. But you won't be. Because you are going to have insurance to pay. You are going to have to pay for commuting back and forth. You're going to have charges for time spent thinking about the job that you're not able to bill anybody, right? So you have to make sure that you're, if you're used to getting $20 an hour, and you know you have a $10 cost on top of that, you're going to need to charge $30 an hour. If you are charging $30 an hour now, and you have the business already running, and you're charging $30 an hour, and you're having a little bit of trouble, raise your price. Will it stop people from calling you? Probably not. Now, obviously, you hit a point where people aren't going to call you anymore because they're going to be able to get it done elsewhere. And it also depends on your product. Um, a lot of products... Uh, I own a cleaning company. Cleaning is a commodity. What that means is... Most people are going to call four cleaning companies and say, how much will you charge for my house? How much will you charge for my house? How much will you charge for my house? And they're going to pick either the cheapest of those people that they talk to or the one that they were most confident in when they talked to them but wasn't the most expensive. Okay? Now, where you're able to really start changing that price is once you get your foot in the door. And if you are professional and if you are the best of the best and you do guarantee your work, you're going to be able to charge a little bit more because now that client says, I don't want to lose this person. So what to charge for your service? I don't know, but make sure it's enough. And if it's not enough, raise your prices. And if you're afraid that you won't get the, you won't catch the contracts because your price is a little bit higher, then you're probably going to want to up your game a little bit. Um, Make sure that you are the professional that people are turning to. Make sure you are networking with folks. Make sure when you're done with a job, you're asking your clients, hey, is there anybody that you know that might need my services? Please feel free to give them my information. If you have a happy client, they're only going to tell a couple of their friends. If you have an unhappy client, they're going to tell a lot of their friends. If I remember correctly, the stat is um, an unhappy client or customer will tell 12 of their friends that they are unhappy with your service or your product. If you have a happy client, they are only going to tell three or four. Now, don't hold me to the stats. They're not exactly right. I learned this 20-some years ago. But the concept is correct. The unhappy people tell more people that they're unhappy than the happy people tell people that they're happy. So make them happy. Charge a good, fair price. Make sure you're making money. Because if you're not making money, you won't stay in business. All right, we'll talk more a little bit later. We have a couple more questions that I'm going to answer um, and a couple concepts I want to get out there, but we'll talk soon. Have a great day.